Welcome back guys to the channel. Today we have here a C4, uh, Citroen C4, uh, 1.4 uh, petrol engine. This car came to me uh, from another shop. Uh, the problem with the car is the, the car stalls once in a while, uh, well, a lot of times actually per day, um, to the point where it is uh, undrivable, you know, it uh, just stalls and stalls and the, then it doesn't want to start for a short period of time, after that we'll start again. The previous shop has um, diagnosed the car, the diagnostics came out um, with four uh, error codes, well at least the car came to me with those four error codes, which is um, P0351, uh, P0352, uh, 53 and 54, meaning that all four uh, cylinders are not firing. So um, they fitted already a new crankshaft sensor, uh, they fitted a new coil pack, uh, this car uh, uses the, the big coil pack with the four, uh, four uh, plugs at once, which means you cannot just change one, you have to change the whole coil pack, the, the, the all four um, cylinders. Uh, so I've, uh, with all that done, I've checked all fuses, of course if a fuse is blown it's not, um, it's not going to stall once in a while, it just doesn't start, or it won't stall. Um, so I've, tra I've started tracing the, the lines, so I thought maybe it's a broken wire or something. So I went to, um, to the engine bay, uh, started looking at the lines, all the lines were in perfect condition. Um, and I had to identify the relay. So I opened the BSM, which is this part right here. It's, it, this is already open. Uh, this first relay you see here with a little bit of wood in it, smoking. It's smoking actually because I put a little uh, contact spray in it, so that's why. Uh, when I put the wood there, uh, lock, uh, closing the relay, it wouldn't stall anymore. No more error codes, nothing. Um, so this is the relay for the um, the, the module for the spark plugs. Um, the one next to it, behind it, is the one for the fuel pump. Even though they, uh, those two circuits are on the same circuit actually because um, I found out uh, later on Autodata. Um, so I start digging in and uh, I found out that this is a, com a common problem on these cars, on uh, Citroëns and Peugeots, um, in general. So what I found out is that this is very expensive, new and used, it's probably it's going to have the same problem or uh, it's uh, on the way to have the same problem or other problems related to these relays because this is, uh, this is not a serviceable, a serviceable part. So what I did uh, was I went to Autodata <coughs> And I tried, I've tried to find the pins to correct uh, and install an, uh, a regular relay. So I went to Autodata and I found out that uh, this is the coil pack right here. This is the four pins, one, two, three, and four go to the ECU. Then two of them, the, I think five is going to ground and six is going to the fuse F10, which is a 30 amp fuse. And that uh, there is a relay that is um, that is connected uh, or that is placed inside the one with the, the little wooden tab there. Uh, as you can see, the circuit uh, also uh, feeds the um, lambda sensors and uh, canister purge sensors, something like that. But that was not the, our issue. Our issue was with the coil pack. So I knew that the, the relay was not in a very good condition, so what I've done is um, I went ahead and um, with this pin out here, 
cut the old relay, relay out and uh, fitted a new relay soldering the, the wires to the correct spots and um, I just uh, you know I just soldered it there uh, f uh, attached the relay to the board um, covered everything in uh, silicon or uh, something that to make it waterproof and um, let me tell you guys uh, the thing is the car is now running flawlessly no more errors whatsoever not for a uh, canister not for O2 sensors not for um, coil packs nothing at all so um, this relay, uh, the original one, if you can find one, it's a uh, YH uh, one one nine. Here in my country, it's it's uh, very difficult to find parts. These kinds of parts, we have to order from. Uh, outside the country and it takes a lot of time and like I said if you're going to use a second hand part uh, beware that uh, and get ready because if it's not um, broken already it's on the way because this is a very uh, common problem in these cars and um, so yeah guys um, this is the pin there that goes to the sixth pin on the um, on the coil pack. Um, so this is the first thing you have to say you have to do. It's to make sure every wires uh, are in perfect condition, nothing broken, fuses are okay, coil pack is okay, the crankshaft sensor is okay. Uh, after that, I'm a hundred percent sure that the problem will be exactly the same as I have here. The guys, they already uh, bought a new ECU, which I didn't have to use because uh, it was an ECU-related problem. Um, it was the BSM. This part, this piece here, it gives a lot of headaches to mechanics on these uh, Peugeot Citroën cars, PSA. This is a, an absolute ni nightmare. So, um, with this done, uh, I guarantee that this is going to work very well. If you have a problem, it's next time you don't have to open the, the thing. You just need to remove this relay and uh, fit a new one. And, um, yeah, so this is a, a really, easy, um, really easy fix. I'm not saying it was easy for me. That it's been a lot of trial and error involved, a lot of testing involved, but um, this works really well. And um, you know, so guys, if you like this video, please subscribe.